Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we're going to continue on our theme. We've build, been building sort of hidden divs for various WordPress themes and also Bootstrap and HTML sites. We're going to do it today with the Elementor plugin. Elementor is a great page builder plugin. There's a free version and a pro version. You can download either from my affiliate link just below this video. So today we're going to build this sort of pop out email form. that's sticky so it stays there when you scroll up and down the page. It'll be there all the time. Just fill it in. Send it off and it disappears when you're not hovering on it. Really easy to do with Elementor. So let's get started. First thing I'll do is I'll delete what I've got going on here. So I'm going to hit the edit with Elementor button up here. While that's loading, I'm going to go to my dashboard and I want to go to the custom CSS. So it's appearance and customize. additional CSS and here's the CSS that I wrote for that so I'm going to delete that publish that don't need that tab let's go to this page and let's get rid of this section as well delete section there we go. Okay, so let's update. And here we are, we've got no section. I'm going to go down the bottom and I'm going to start again from scratch. I'm going to create a new section. So I'm just going to hit the little add new section button here, left click. I want one column, one row. Within that, I'm going to put a form in mine. You can put anything you want in here. You don't have to use a form. I'm just going to use a form today. So let's go down. Add a form. I'm not going to configure it. Have a look at uh, our previous video videos about config configuring contact forms. If you want to learn how, it's real easy. So we've put our form in there. I'll give it a little title up top. Go back to our little grid, add a heading. So I'm going to presume that if you're doing this, that you know how to add forms and things to your site. And I'm going to say reach out. Now I want that to be in the middle, and I want it to be white. Okay, I'm just going to add a little icon on the top of this that we're going to use as the handle to pull this form out. Let's go back to our grid once again. And here's an icon. Pop it up above that title. Icon library. I want an envelope. There we go, that'll do nicely. And let's have a look. I want it to be white, I believe, in color. Size wise, I'll leave it just like it is. That's fine. I'm going to put a background color in for the back of the section itself. So we're back on the section now. Background type color. I'm just going to use their default blue. All right. Let's just update this. Now then, let's go into our theme customizer. You can hit your uh, little preview icon down here if you want to preview it. I'll bring it up there, then we can refresh it when we've got something to look at. So I'm going to go back to the theme customizer. Just quickly refresh this. And at the bottom, we should have our new section. There we are, right there. Now let's start styling it with a bit of custom CSS. And don't let the custom CSS put you off. Any CSS I write today, I'll put 
below this video you're welcome to use it and manipulate it how you want so I'm going to open the additional CSS box first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a title so it's forward slash star star forward slash and it's slide in form or whatever you want to call yours just so we can find it easier when we've got a lot of CSS here okay so now I want to inspect the actual section itself I think what I want to do is give it a, a custom class of its own so let's just save this We'll go back to our page here now we're in the section let's go to advanced and I'll give it a CSS class of say L form F O R M left form I guess update that so it's got that class now and I'll have to refresh this back to the additional CSS now I'm using Google Chrome here for the fantastic inspector that lets me do this most browsers have this nowadays but like I say I'm using Google Chrome so let's go down to our section I'm going to go to a blank part of the section right click and hit inspect and here we are here's our section somewhere it should say there it is L form there's our class so we know we can target it by using the L form class now what do we want to do okay the first thing I'm going to do is give it a fixed width I believe and we'll give it a width I'll say 350 because I know that's going to work on phones and tablets as well and as you can see it's squished up to 350 over here which is absolutely fine I'm going to write it down here and I'm going to end up copying it over to here okay now I want to sort of give it what they call a fixed position when I do this you may see it disappear Now to bring it back where do I want it to be fixed to well I want it to be fixed to the bottom and also to the right hand side so let's say bottom colon zero so it's fixed to the bottom there you can see it's come back and below that I want to put right zero so I want it to be fixed to the right hand side also there we go fantastic and as you can see it's on the bottom and it's on the right hand side and if we scroll up and down the site it does stay on top of everything which is exactly what we want if you found that it was going underneath other elements you could give it a Z index Z dash index and a really high number say five nines in a row or something to pull it up above the other sections but we're okay so let's just copy this over while we've got it we're going to do a bit more Control C to copy and I'm just gonna put it in here now we gotta tell it where it's gonna go and we want it because it was a class it's a dot L form left form was the class that we gave it open and close some curly brackets and within those brackets we can paste the code we copied from our browser there just tidy that up hit the publish and that'll be permanent now it's written into our site Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to target this icon and I want to pull it over here so we can kind of use it as a handle. And if I right click and inspect it, there it is. Now we know it's in our section which is called L form. So it's L form I because we want to target the icon. So if I write L form I here, we should be able to target it. L form I and open and close some curly brackets because we'll put our code in there okay so I've got it here what do I want to do with it well I'll move it to the left so let's try margin left and give it a negative value colon say negative 100 pixels Okay, that's obviously not going to be enough so let's try 250 
Yeah, I think that's going to be perfect. That way we can use it for dragging and have it just sticking out here when this form is hidden. That's fine. I also want to give it a background color. Let's see what color this section is. There it is right there. I'm going to copy that hex color, control C. Go back to my icon. I want to give it a background color. There's our icon. I will say background. Let's paste in that hex color we just copied. There we go. Now you can see it's got that background color, so it'll stand out. If we left it white when it hovered over something white, you'd lose it. This way you're going to see it on all colors because it's got a background and a white color on top. And I think I just need to make it a little bit wider so that we've got a bit of padding left and right. Let's try, give it a width of sort of 80 picks and see what happens. 80 pixels. It's a little bit too much. Um, let's try 60 pixels. That's okay, great. And what I could do is give it a border radius and make the corners a little more rounded, a little bit more like we've got here. So let's do that as well. I'll give it some nice rounded corners. I'll just give it five pixels radius. There we go, that's a bit rounded. That's great. Now we can hide this and have this sticking out here. So let's copy our code. For our icon here and put it in our additional CSS box between our two curly brackets for the iform icon. Publish that. Okay, let's we've got that published. Let's go back in here because what I'm gonna do I'll have to refresh this. So what I want to do now is hide this section. I want to scoot it over to the right hand side. And it's got some margins we could, but that's fixed to auto. So we'll need to do it with a bit of custom CSS. So if we go back here, what we can do is our form I'm going to put a negative right margin. I know this is 350 wide, so let's put a mar margin of negative 350 behind it. Say so margin, right, colon, negative 350 picks. There we go. And as you can see, our little envelope icons out there, but the form stuck. But we want it to come back when people hover over it. I'm just going to make sure it's on top of everything. Yeah, it is. It's fine. And to make that happen, I'm going to drop down just below this. I'm going to put the class that we've got there of dot L form. No space. Important. You don't put a space in. Colon. Then no space again. Hover. So you've got I form. No space colon. No space hover open and close some curlies and when that's going to tell it when something is hovering over it when mouse is hovering over it what do we want it to do well we want a margin right of zero margin right zero pixels so that when I hover over it it's going to come back out and be where it was zero pixels butted up against the left hand side. So let's publish our changes here. Let's make sure we got the most up to date changes here. It says we have, but I don't think we do. Let's refresh our page here and see what we've got. There it is right there. When we hover over it, it jumps out like that. That's fine, but that's a little too quick for me. You know, it's doing what I want, and you can click on it and send it. And when you get off of it, it goes back. But it's a little too instant for my liking. 
So let's make it a little more gradual with a bit of transition CSS. Let's go back here. And in our main I for L form class right here, we can add a transition duration or just a transition. I'm going to say transition and colon and let's say 0 0.25 seconds. So that'd be a quarter second. Just tidy that up. That should do it. Let's publish that. Let's go back to our page and refresh. And let's see if our form pops out a little more gradually now. Didn't do a whole lot. Let's force it. We'll say important. Don't like to use that unless I have to, but we may have to here. Let's publish that back to our site and refresh and see if that slowed it down any now. There we are. That's a lot more gradual. It's not sort of jumping straight out when you do it. There we have it. And you can fill it in. You can send it. When you get off of it, it disappears there. And it's sticky, so it stays on top of your site. Handy little feature. Like I say, you can do that with any kind of module. It doesn't have to be um, a contact form. You could do it with a FAQ section or whatever you want to do. Menu, restaurant, item of the day use your imagination so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful like i say i'll put the css code i've written today below this video if anybody wants to use it you're welcome to so once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day